Hi everybody, it's Lee here. I'm getting straight into this tutorial because it's an extremely old one, but I found it on my laptop, so I thought I would show it anyway. Uh, this is a pair of ruby slippers that I made for my sister. And this is what I use. Um, an old pair of shoes that I found in my wardrobe. They were sort of like a maroon color. And I then used sequins that was on like a string. So I started at the back seam and used hot glue. Now what I did was I burnt just the wee end of that so um, the sequins would stick. And I basically just went around the shoes with this shiny sequence, starting at the back seam, as I said there. And I just bring this around the shoe, gluing as I go. You can see that there. I'm sorry, this is uh, such a, a late tutorial. It's, it's from Halloween 2012 and I completely forgot about it. And I found it on my computer and realized that there was no narration on it. So I thought I would do it today. It's either late because it's from 2012 or it's extremely early for Halloween. So hopefully you enjoy it anyway. These turned out actually really, really well. The first uh, sewing project I ever did was uh, the costume for this. It was Dorothy Gale's costume, obviously. So these are the ruby slippers. And of course, because I had a sewing machine, uh, my sister automatically assumed that I could sew. <laughs> Now, as you can see here, I'm just going around with a, a thin nozzle of um, with super glue and just putting it in between the wee bits that I think that didn't glue down properly. I just wanted to make sure that these obviously, because Tara was going to be walking in them, they needed to be pretty secure. So I'm just uh, burning the ends there to make sure that it doesn't fray. And I'm starting again, going right round with the sequins. This wasn't um, very difficult to do. It was it was just, I suppose, a wee bit monotonous. But as as I went around with the sequins, I sort of overlapped onto the row below. So there was no space. And obviously there's going to be a few wee spaces here and there. But I do go back and I correct that. So you can see it's sticking pretty well with the hot glue. And then obviously I went along with the super glue and just sort of stuck it in between. So there, I just showed a wee space. So what I do is I go back then and stick some of the wee random sequence into the spaces. So I just carry on gluing. I suppose I should put music or something in here. Or should I sing? <gasps> la 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 Sewing sequins onto shoes. Gluing sequins onto shoes. Right, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> so I decided to make uh, the little buckle for the front of the shoes. And I just made that out of black sequins. And some uh, glitter ribbon that I had. And just glued it onto a piece of card. And again, just wrapped it round. Glued it round like I did with the uh, the shoes. I sort of rounded the card a wee bit because obviously I wanted it to fit to the roundness of the front of the shoe. So it didn't pop off as soon as Tara put her foot inside it. And then I'm just making the wee ribbon here. Out of this highly glittery ribbon. And I just added a wee uh, flower center that I made, just with the wee buckle thing amid bobs, and like a wee diamante center. Could I say we anymore? Oh my god, I'm so typically Irish. The stereotypes are true. So there you go. There's the wee buckle for the front, and I just simply glued it on. Glue, glue, glue. And that is going nowhere. The only thing I would suggest is when you do this, make sure the shoes are quite loose on you to begin with because I find the glue sort of tightened the shoes a wee bit. But uh, they were great, they, they worked well. And you can see these wee spaces here. What I went, I, I went back and uh, put any of the wee loose sequence that I had that had fallen off. 
the trim and I just went in and individually glued those on. Didn't take long at all, it only took a couple of minutes. And any bits of glue that had sort of become visible and hardened on the shoe, what I did was I, what did I do? Oh, I went through with my heat, my heat tool. And then along the back, so that messy seam wouldn't be uh, seen or visible, I went along with the um, glittery ribbon and just glued that down the back so you wouldn't see that seam. So there's that shoe all complete. I'm just gluing the seam. Gluing the seam of my shoe. So there's the, the original shoe. And there's it all done with the sequence. And obviously I'll show you photographs with it all complete. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry for my insanity as usual. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, these are the finished shoes and I will also show you a picture of the outfit that I made for my sister. First time sewn, so please don't judge me. It was a bit rough around the edges. Thanks everybody. Bye.